Mission 8, Trace the Courier. And I'm going to bring an invisibility potion with me on this one. And two flash bombs, and that's literally all we can afford, so... To hell with it. Lieutenant Mosley, out for a little stroll. You? Let's see where you take me. Just rats again. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is grab this potion. Because the one nuance with this mission is that I gotta pick six pockets. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but you also cannot, like, go too far away from her. Otherwise you automatically fail the mission. So it kind of becomes a lot, you know? Anyway, um... This is carrying on from the fiasco that happened at True Art's house when he was murdered when we were in the process of trying to confront him with his incriminating recording. Stupid. Probably just something to look at. Oh, oh, a pocket to pick. Run! No Not more than zero. And at the scene of the crime, there was a set of keys that belonged to a one Lieutenant Mosley, which is who that lady is that we're following. There was a cutscene noting about, uh... Who's there? Hello? Crap, 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 crap. Tracing her at her place. And Ooh, noticing that she that. left carrying a mysterious looking letter. And this is us. Tracing the thread... Of where it leads. Something there? Tracing the thread? Following the thread. Or tracing the trail. It's never anything exciting. Sometimes I just cannot... Cannot do the words, you know? Well, we're not doing that. I've already got three pockets, so that's doing okay. Does this lady have a pocket to pick? She does! I think. Yep. I'll take that. Alright. Might not be so bad, actually, now that I'm paying attention. He said, as if he didn't, like, do this already, and then realized that the recording was not recording. Ah, it's all good, though. It's a short mission, thankfully, because it is very dull. Too dull for the likes of things. I mean, it's already a very slow-paced game. But the fact that there's not really much to do other than follow somebody who is walking at what can only be described as a snail's pace... Is uh, a little trying with patience at times. And not that I'm against, you know, using the patience every once in a while. Needs some practice for sure. But uh, I don't know, I just find I have less and less of it as the years go by, you know? I feel like I used to be a lot more of a perfectionist with my stealthing than I feel like I am these days. I believe he does also have a pocket to pick, but he's a bit of a ways away and in a lot of light, so we're not going to do that. I'm going to run ahead of this guy because he's annoying me. I'm trying not to whip the view around too wildly and too erratically, you know, because that is jarring, at least to me, like, with the slow pace of the game. It, uh, it just looks odd when I watch it back and I'm doing it, so I'm trying not to. It's a little easier these what? days. I got a new mouse. Again. <laughs> well, looks like it's peaceful again. It's like my fourth RMA through Corsair. Because uh, I had the M65 Elite RGB mouse. And I really liked it. Like, the ergonomics were my favorite by far. I liked the feel of it a lot more than this mouse. It was much lighter than this mouse. But every six months, like clockwork, the left mouse button would fail. And it's not like I'm sitting there, you know, playing MMOs and spamming my left mouse button. It's just normal usage. But, uh, yeah, it couldn't handle more than six months. But kudos to Corsair. They uh, replaced it without question every single time, paid for the shipping, everything. So that was really nice of them. Um, but yeah, on my most recent RMA, they're like, you know, you've done this like several times over, like with the same issue. Would you, would you like to try a different mouse, maybe? And I was like, oh yeah, that would be awesome. 
give me the most expensive one you have. And they were like, okay, sure, we'll upgrade you. And I'm like, all right, fine, that works for me. So I've got the Knight Sword now, which is a much more expensive mouse than the M65, but I guess it's going to cost them less if I don't have to have it replaced every few months, you know? It's always not. It's Fingers crossed. If the mouse button holds out for six months, then I will, uh, I'll obviously keep it and be much happier with it. Because that was a tiresome process. I'm too tense. Whoops, I just about screwed the pooch on that one. Looks like it's peaceful again. But yeah. Something moved there. If a mouse button holds out, I think that forgives any other flaws that a mouse incurs. And it is a nice mouse. Like, it Come feels good in the now. hand. It's just kind of heavy is all. Kidding. Ah, shit. Well. I might have to. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I might have to flash just this guy. Again. And I really don't want to. Oh, look. Another purse. Thank you. That was so nice of her. Alright. Well, I think this is the best chance to get closer to Mosley. Nothing. The nice thing is, is distance plays a role in how visible you are just as much as the visibility gem and the shadows you're in, you know? I like the combination of the two things. And it's a more complex system than just visibility cones. That's like the we couldn't be bothered to come up with a real stealth system method of doing things. I love you, Dishonored, but the stealth system is nothing compared to this, even though the game feels very similar. But it stops feeling similar the second that you're like... A, detected, because what the AI does after that point is very different, and B, just kind of the how close you can get to people and stuff without being seen, you know? Stupid. It's probably just some rookie. Yep. Yeah. Some rookie that doesn't, like, look around suspiciously every ten feet, Mosley. I'd probably not carry the letter outside of my jacket, honestly, if I was committing crimes. Whoops. Just noticed that she turned around there. Because it's... Because yeah. your job in the private guard, do you? Didn't see me, though, so that's all good. Just as bad as oh, I think this is where she drops it. Sure is. Somehow I doubt she dropped her note by accident. I'd better see what it says. My co-conspirator. Because that's how you would address somebody. <laughs> to make Let's your see note. comes to claim the note. Not look suspicious, you know? Alright, so we got a bit of time to kill. There's not really a whole lot to... Well! How did I not know that was there? Seriously, I didn't. New boots. It's gonna take me a week to break in the cursed things, and until then, I'll be walking like someone's grandmother. Oh, wouldn't want to stop your little toesies. Nah, snap <laughs> off. Ah, yeah. Oh, I guess since we've got a bit of a dead moment here, um, this news came up, like, a couple weeks ago, I think, and I've just kind of forgotten to mention it all, because it's a different game. But, uh, Gothic 2 on Steam got an update. Previously, it was just Gothic 2 Gold, and right now it's called Gothic 2 Gold Classic. But, um, they added an option, so when you go to launch the game... You can choose to play Gothic 2 Gold, which is previously the only thing that Steam had, or you can click the other button on the toggle and play Gothic 2 Classic, like, without the expansion or anything, which is really awesome. 
So that means I'm probably going to have to do a challenge run of that sometime too then. And Arkelos is getting new language packs and stuff constantly, so that's nice. Maybe they'll add English eventually, and that'll make that an easier thing that I could do a challenge on as well. Because the thing about, like, the way it is now is it doesn't have English, and I don't really want to run another language that I don't understand in it. Um, but either A, I would just have to, like, skip through all the dialogue and say to hell with the story and just, like, try to challenge the gameplay... Or B, I would have to read the dialogue. And that doesn't sound fun either. So I think I'm just going to wait a bit and see. See how that goes. Because the community seems to be doing wonders with it anyway. And the other nice thing about the, the Gothic 2 like update was that it didn't even mess with any of my mods. Like I launched Gothic 2 Classic and it didn't change anything. It didn't like have any issues. It kept all my settings. Which, when you mess with, like, the core game files, often does kind of, like, reset the mods, I find. When, uh, when I'm adding them to Steam games, anyway. So, it must have been fairly low level. But it's cool they did that. I'm glad they've got that. Glad they've got the support. I'm pretty sure that was THQ's choice, because it was about... Summer's around the anniversary, I think. So good on you, lads, if that was you, and if it wasn't, well, I'm sorry for giving you credit that you don't deserve. <sighs> this guy is taking a long time. And I didn't miss him. The unfortunate thing is that there's really not that much to do in this little area here, so... Sometimes you can get bored, go piss off, go do something else, and then completely miss him. There he is. I know on earlier playthroughs, that was a thing that I, like, genuinely struggled with. Because I'd see the letter, they'd drop the letter, and then I'd be like, okay, I'm bored. I can't be expected to stand around this long. And then come back, and it'd be gone, and then I'd fail the mission. Like, oh. Just missed him. So now all we gotta do is follow this pagan all the way around the city again. So I don't know which way we came in, but we're going to the graveyard. I can tell you that much right now. A good dark sleep, yes. Oh. I too like a good dark sleep. I feel like I hear another set of footsteps. I sure did. Hopefully she uh, goes over that way a little more. Please and thank you. Good, good. How far is a friend? Too far. Shit. 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 Oh, he's up there. Let's not lose this guy. Alright, you keep going. I'll be right behind you. It was nothing. What's with you? Okay. Well, we gotta be getting close now, right? Like... No, <laughs> we're not close. We gotta get all the way up here. We're like halfway with this guy. Okay, well... It's alright. Oh man, he checks so often. Way more cautious than Mosley ever was. Uh, okay. Over here. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we have to worry about, like, a new game or a new game series terribly soon because I wanted to do multiple Thief games, probably the whole series, but we'll see. What's the plan, anyway? And just this one alone is going to take us into the new year, like, by quite a ways. Because, I mean, I'm managing 
two episodes a week. Like, assuming this goes up in time, I'll be keeping with that. And... We're only about halfway through the game. There's, I think, 15 missions in total, and we're on eight. So that'll put us February-ish. Before we're looking at something else. Before we're done, I guess. I think... Ooh. I think I'm going to take a bit of a break in between. Probably not six months again, but, you know. Try to pace myself a little better this time. Gotta get things in order. There's just not enough time in a day to do anything. I scraped together time to do this because this is, like, you know, kind of relaxing at least. <laughs> Most of the time. And then there's, like, random sporadic bursts of just complete disaster. Oh, that guard is stuck there, so he's going to constantly be looking there. I think we need to do the cross. I already know it's possible, because I did it last time we came through these parts. Nobody's over here. Where's she going? God damn it. Everyone is so jumpy. It was rats. Rats be a bit of meat now and then. As long as he stays stuck, I'm perfectly happy with that. I don't know if we should be counting on the AI fucking up, but that's okay. Like, the timings are wide enough that we should be able to do it either way. This is very bright. Fortunately, being like only half exposed, combined with the distance, and only silences makes things all good. I feel like we're almost there. Hard to tell. Ah, shit. Really safe anymore. Nope, nowhere is really safe anymore. If the AI that fucks up is... Okay, good. I was gonna say, if that AI fucks up, that is a completely other issue. Because I can't stand here until the end of time. At least we're in a dark area. Oh, uh, yeah, but you can see the... The gate there. We're close, which means we're gonna get ready to use this, because I know what happens. Wow, they're Can terrible shots today. To ah! That was kind of important. Away. A cemetery. <laughs> That's original. We dare us not venture in there. Cemeteries are no <gasps> I gotcha now. Go? Guess there must be another way out of here after all. Just wanted to see if there was another way to go. That. Into hell itself. Oh look, a success. It wasn't exactly a riveting mission, but we had to do it. Uh, not too bad. Half the loot, though. Man, 14 pockets. I don't know how you would do that. Like, there's not really enough, like, space to get away from them. Like, I failed multiple times, like, on the last take. I'm just lucky that I already had a practice run before I had to do this, so that's nice. Anyway, next time, slightly more interesting. There's uh, actually significant dangers to us in that one. Um, but it is another slower-paced mission, I would say, before we get into the good stuff. So, until then, take care. Have a good one.